occurred morning. It is, I think day, day four for me. So I haven't recorded anything up until now. Um, feeling relatively fresh today. A couple of things I've learned is that I can only sleep when there aren't people around. So there's nobody here. I'm staying at Selena's parents' house. They're not due back until today and I've been here for a couple of days now. I've managed to sleep between eight and nine hours. At home I normally sleep maybe five to seven at most. And that's been what it's like for years. This is the first time I've slept longer than that. It's really, really strange. Um, but it always used to be the same. So when Selena used to travel for work, once she had left, I could sleep. Weird. Anyway, uh, tr the travel here was actually really nice. The, the planes, um, the service was really good. They were a lot busier than when we went out. I would say they're about close to 50% capacity. I didn't see what the main cabin looked like, but um, the business class cabin is definitely about 50% capacity. Once I landed, uh, Within 45 minutes, I really wanted to go back to Las Vegas, really wanted to. So we touched down, masses of traffic, um, got to my friend's house, left there, masses of traffic, got to Ebb's Fleet. Oh, it was raining. And then it started just raining hard from that point. And everybody was laughing, just saying, you've picked the worst time. And I mean, raining so hard that it was flooding the streets for two days straight. The following day, I then spent, I drove from my hotel three miles and um, it was a five minute journey there and then a 40 minute journey back because they had, it was after nine o'clock and they had closed off all the roads. I had to take a 13 mile diversion and got stuck in traffic. And it's just deeply unpleasant. It's a horrible place genuinely to live. I just can't wrap my head around why anybody given a choice would choose to live here. The threat of guns, um, is way less bothersome than just how horrible it is here. If I wasn't here to buy a house, I would definitely have probably booked a flight the following week to go back. Um, on the house front, crazy. The market is ridiculous. So every house that I had booked to see or saved is gone. So I'm looking daily now to go and uh, view places. <coughs> Did manage to get into two places. Um, and I'll show you the area. So I found a one bed place and a two bed place, literally from where that fence is to where that wall is, that's the distance apart they were. So I had a look at both of those. And I'll insert something that shows you the street. Um, one of them's pretty much ideal. So it's a one bed, uh, it's, they want 160. The landlord's in New Zealand. The person living there at the moment is a tenant who wants to stay, he's a teacher. Um, and it's already set up, so all I would need to do is make sure all of the paperwork's up to date, all the legal stuff, the certs, um, collect, buy it, collect the rent. The other one is a owner seller, which is fine, um, and I don't mind having a couple of down months in terms of them, them, me buying it, them moving out, me getting it up to spec. However, they want too much for the flat, so they want 200 for the, the two bed version of that flat. I don't think it's worth that, and in particular because I've seen other places similar for about 180,000. And when you're renting a place, it's always about the yield. Um, so although you'll get more rent in, actually the amount of rent it doesn't compensate for the purchase price. So actually your yield goes down quite a bit. So the one bed is definitely on the list. I'm trying to find some additional ones to go and view either tomorrow or the following week. So I'm gonna give it about a week. The other issue I've got is I ideally want to buy in Maidstone, which is where our current apartment is. And at the moment there's nothing available there. So I'm looking where Selena's parents live um, towards Ashford at the moment, which is fine. It's a nice area. The rent seems to be fairly good, but it's just a bit more hassle if we need to get stuff resolved. Up where I am, my brother and my parents live up there. Down here, yes, Selena's parents live here, but they're older. They have their own things that they need to do. It's not as easy as phoning my brother again. Can you just run to Maidstone, which is 20 minutes from him? So that's where I really want to rent. I'm going to try and reach out to people, find out if they've got anything that's not online that's coming up. And hopefully, if I can get this all done in a week and a half, then I can book an earlier flight and go home because that's what I really want to do. In terms of what it's like being here outside of the crappy weather and the traffic and all the rest of it, 
really nice seeing family so I've seen my brother a couple of times seen my mum it's very nice so it'd be great if they lived out there as well but it's not nice enough for me to want to live back here I'd rather see them a few times a year and live in the sun um, and I'm due to see my good friend on I think it's Thursday this week and I'm probably gonna go and stay up at his and then um, I've got I'm seeing my other friend on Sunday I think to go to to dinner and then we might actually go mountain biking with my brother now I say might, I love it. I pack one of my suitcases just full of um, mountain bike stuff. So that's how much I want to do it. I've used up an entire suitcase of mountain bike helmet and everything. The reason why might is because it is currently predicting 10 days of solid rain. And the bike park that we're due to go to has currently got an adverse weather warning, which means we intend to open up, but we may not be able to because of the weather. And for anybody watching this outside of the time it's recorded, this is right in the middle of the English summertime. So it's, where are we? August, we're going into August. So it's August tomorrow, August 1st. So you couldn't be more in the middle of summertime. You can probably see everything. It looks quite nice now, it's the first time, but everything's soaking wet. All of this stuff is currently dripping. I can't sit down because the chairs are wet. So yeah. Anyway, I will go and record a little bit of the area. I'll chuck that in and I will catch you up once I've found some new places to view. I thought I'd show you the, the area that I'm staying in is actually very nice here. And the um, places that I'm seeing are about, I think it's about five minutes away. So I'm gonna take a quick drive over there. It's not as nice over there and it's mostly flats, but it's still a relatively nice area. Close to the train station-ish. Uh, close to the town centre, close to some gyms, so it's quite good and I'm assuming it's close to the schools with the teachers living there. Um, oh, here's my car for the three weeks. And what's interesting about it is it's got no electrics, no speakers, um, the windscreen wiper doesn't work, the doors don't really lock, uh, the boot doesn't really open. So it's been quite fun considering for the past I don't know, 10 years, I've had relatively modern cars, so I'm having to get used to all of the quirks of a car with stuff that doesn't work. But I am super appreciative of having it for the three weeks um, because it would have cost me about 700 to 800 pounds to rent another car, which I'd rather not. So this works perfectly for me. It just means I can barely listen to music and I've got to remember all of the tricks to get the doors locked when I get out. We're at the area where I'm looking at the houses. I'm just going to walk up the road quickly. So you can probably see behind me, it's, I don't know what year they would have been built, maybe around the 2000s. Um, <laughs> got some angry dogs, but it looks really nice. Nice spots there, access to the road. <laughs> the, the dog's barking furiously at me. I don't know what he's trying to do, protect the inside of the house maybe. So it looks like there's at least two places that have let recently. I can see some let by, which is good. And then you've got up here is the one bed. And then over there is the two bed. Hopefully you can hear me. I decided to go up to my parents to watch Formula One. So where I'm staying, they don't have Formula One on. Um, as soon as I got onto the road, it sent me I have to take a diversion because there's an accident. And then as I'm driving, there's an accident on the route that it told me to take. So I'm now taking a different route and there are now 20 minute delays. And to top it off, what's really funny is, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's super gray outside as well. So now that is, every day I've been here, it's been raining, it's been gray, it's been cold, and I've been stuck in traffic. And this is people's real lives. It just, uh, even with the house, I'm like, do I just book a flight, forget the house, hold the money, and wait until we can buy somewhere in there and be done with this place? Because there's no fun to be had here. It's so awful. Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, no, same. So, 20 minute delay is currently it's the big signs up there. But it's not just, it's not infrequent. Every day has been exactly the same for me. And here's the rain. 
usually doesn't show up that well on camera, but hopefully you can see the sun again. So, rain, traffic, rain, traffic, rain, traffic, that's what I've had so far. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could find something really quickly, get that sorted and get out of here. I don't think, even if we had to leave um, the US, we, we're not, we're not in that position, but if we had, I think I would just go to, I think Thailand lets us stay for six months, but if it doesn't, I would just find somewhere that does, and I'd probably just move there and work my life out, because, I mean, you'd have to drag me kicking and screaming to come back to this place. And for those people that love it, I get it, there are some nice parts about England. For example, I love the greenery, but I don't love the rain, and I don't love greenery enough to accept the rain. You can ride much better bike riding but you have to then accept the poor weather because of that and I'd rather not ride my bike. <laughs> anyway, catch you later.